Hello, welcome to Workout with Resistant and Loop Band. I'm Katie. So today you're going to need indoor shoes, a chair with no arms and no wheels, yoga mat, and your Resistant and Loop Band. So we're going to come to a comfortable seated position first, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears, stomach and chest proud. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. So we're staying very calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment. One more breath here. We're going to slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Lengthening the spine. Exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We'll never hold our breath. Two more. Inhale tall and long. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. One last one. Coordinating your breath with your movement. Hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, lengthening, stretch, relieve any tension that you may have. Staying here for three, two, one, slowly come back to center, the other side, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale to center, exhale to open up the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest, both ways with stimulating thyroid. Inhale, center, exhale, look at the right armpit, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down, stretch, slowly, slowly come back to center. Now we're going to look at the other armpit, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Pull back. Slowly, slowly release, same arm up. We'll lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. You can stay here, those who are more flexible, if you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up, the other side, up, up, and then cross, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we'll link them first, place the palm behind your back, Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Now you can stay here, try to bring the elbows to the back of the head. If you can bind hands behind you, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Looking forward. Don't worry if you're not able to bind hands behind you. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Put a pinch your shoulder blades, opening up long heart chest, improving your posture. And when your elbow is in the center, try to draw it in, oiling the shoulder joint. And just be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. Go the other way, feet burst. Mm -hmm. 
slowly, slowly come back to center to release and so the thighs and up nice and tall. Now we're gonna to come to a side bend. Inhale, your arms up, length and the spine. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Shoulders and hips are level. Inhale, send the tall long, exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Slowly come back up, go tall, long, and center, exhale, twist. Opposite hand up the thigh, wrap the back arm around your wrist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Slowly, slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite back. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrap around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulders, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Stretching out lower back muscles on the other side. Massaging internal organs. Now we're slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale down that one. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly really shake it out. We're going to come to a forward back. Inhale, your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we hinge from the hips, leading with the chest. Swan dive. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Feel free to hold on to the opposite elbows. Head is below heart. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, and we'll get ready to come up. Hands on weights for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, to slowly, slowly rise up to seated. Once you've come all the way up, shake it out. Getting ready for the loop band. So pick a weight that you want to work on today, and we're going to loop it on our forearm. So adjust your posture, sitting up nice and tall. Are you ready? Small little open shut. Now make sure you sit securely on your chair. Knees on top of ankle. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. And just keep going. You don't have to keep your eyes on the monitor to see what I'm doing. You can listen to my verbal instruction. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Raise your arms above your head. Once again, shoulders are relaxed. Looking forward. Small little open shut. So as always, we'll listen to our body. We never push ourselves beyond our limits. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water. And join us when you can. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come down. Look one bend across on your shoulder, opposite hand stabilizing. The other hand, loop the thumb through, and we're going to extend. I'll give you a side view. You don't have to sit sideways. Engage your core abdominal muscles always, which means squeeze your stomach in, but not to the point of cramping. Strengthening your core powerhouse. Now, when you release, nice and slow. Don't let the band snap back into you. Looking forward. Mm -hmm. 
Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, very good, switching side. Put the band on your shoulder. Thumb, grab a hold of the band. I'm giving you a side view. You don't have to sit sideways. Square the hip to your front, looking forward. Nice and slow of control, no need to rush. Do what you can. You can always modify, adjust, adapt to suit your needs. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shoot the arrow. Once again, look this thumb through, this hand pull back, shoulder height. Now, if you can only do halfway, that's fine. I'm just giving you a side view here. Pull back. So as time goes on, your equipment, your band may break. So make sure you check your equipment always. That is not gonna snap back into you. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, switching side. Should the arrow pull back and release? So as you progress, if you want to challenge yourself, move up to the next band strength. Make it a little bit challenging for yourself. So it's okay to have uh, a few different band with you that you can switch back and forth. Let's do another four, three, two, one, release. In between set, shoulder roll. Release any tension that you may have. Go the other way, reverse. Slowly release, we're gonna bring the band behind our back. Extend, so give you a back view. Halfway is perfectly fine. Know your range of motion. Know your limitation and your boundaries. Never push yourself, your body to go beyond its limits. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Switch inside, take your time to set up. Grab one arm around your waist, the other arm extend. Make sure you feel the resistance, that your band is not too slack. Thank you. 
Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Bring it behind your back. So we're going to switch arm. Now pull up. Now, because this is a shorter loop band, so we can only move the upper arm. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, switch inside. Grab one arm around your back, the other hand, pull it up. Try your best. A little bit of challenging, maybe a little bit of discomfort. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly release. We're going to do a few rounds of wrist rotation in between sets. We'll do some stretches. Go the other way. Forward, backwards, backing down. Change leg arms, give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. We're going to loop the band on our thigh. Doesn't matter which leg. Adjust your posture if needed. Palm facing up, tuck the elbow close your body. Pull it up. Now, when you come down, nice and slow, don't let the band snap you. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Release. Take your time to switch side. Palm facing up. Elbow close your body. Adjust your posture if you find that over time you're slumping over. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to place both legs into the band, up on your thighs. 
hands on your thighs, or you can hold on to the chair for support. Inhale to open up, toes are pronated out. In, toes are pronated in. So once again, sitting up nice and tall, looking forward. Strengthening the quadricep, the back muscle here, to support knee function, especially if you have knee issues. Open shut. Work in your hip joint as well. We're actually firming up the entire leg from the hip joint to your feet. We're using our calf muscle as well. And when we turn our ankle this way, we are working the ankle joint as well. Don't forget to breathe in and out through your nose. We never hold our breath. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Move the band further down to your calf. Once again, you can have hands on your thighs or you can hold on to the chair. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest power. Inhale to lift the legs up, exhale down. Point your toes up to the ceiling. We're not kicking, we're swinging. Engaging your core, so we're gonna squeeze our stomach in. Good posture always. Once again, strengthening the big quadricep to support your knees, working the entire leg from the hip joint to your feet. can only do halfway, that's fine. Do what you can. Let's do another four. Three. Two, and one, stay up here, small little open shut. Feel the burn here. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. We'll place the band on the foot. Inhale, the pointed toes up, lift it up. Exhale down. Control your movements. Make sure you still feel the resistance from your band. Make sure it's not too much slack. Let's do another four, three, two, one. We're gonna open and close. Lower down, knee up, extend, open. Feel the stretch here in your inner thighs. Opening up the hip joint. You don't have to go very big, so know your range of motion.
We're going to do it about 10 times. Let's do another three. Two. One. Slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Are you ready? So they are nice and tall. We're going to do the leg up first. So we're going to do about 10 of this. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Not kicking. Control your movement always. Let's do another three. Two and one. Now we're gonna open. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Bring it in. Lower down. Knee up. Extend. Open. Close. Down. Continue. And your own breath and your own pace. No need to rush. Let's do another three, two, and one. We're going to stay here for a little bit. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, sitting up nice and tall. A couple of breaths here. Make sure there's resistance in your bed. Slowly bring the legs back to the center and release very good. I'm doing some stretches of the ankle, so we're going to point and flex, sit up tall. Pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Keep the blood circulating. Reduce swellness. Increase flexibility and mobility in your ankle joint. One up, one down. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle side to side like windshield wiper. Circle. Go the other way. Loosen up. If you hear a clicking sound, that's normal. Slowly, slowly release. And we now we're going to move to the long bed. So, big class break. Have a sip of water and eat it. And make sure there's resistance here. We're going to inhale up. Exhale down. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest proud, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Let's do another three, two, one. Go side to side, lengthening the side of your body. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Chin up, looking up. Inhale, center, exhale, bend. Make sure you sit securely on your chair. 
that you're not going to fall off. Slowly, slowly come back to center. We're going to come to our big figure eight. Pick a movement if you like. Now make sure there's no slack in your back. So resistant. Sit securely on your chair that you're not going to fall. Go the other way, reverse. Big, big figure eight. One last round. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Go the other way. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your use. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release again. Inhale, shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. So two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale to release. One last one. Oh. And we're going to place both legs into our loop band here. Sit up tall. We're going to inhale up. Exhale, slide open. Close down. Now, whatever you do, don't lean back. If you need to pop a pillow or cushion behind your back for support, go ahead. I'm sitting about two thirds of the way on my chair. Engage your core abdominal muscles. So sometimes people put a small Pilates ball behind your back and to keep the little the ball, like a medium sized ball in place, you have to engage your core muscles, your abdominal muscles. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release. Come back to the upper body. Hold this in half, expand. Have the elbow close your body. Expand. Depending on the strength of your band, you can only do halfway. Go ahead, but make sure there's no slack. Right now, this slack, no slack. Try your best. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Bring it behind you. 
and continue. Extend, tuck the elbow close to your body. Let's do another three, two, one. Very good, slowly, slowly release. Now we're going on the bed now, so we can bring it behind our back. Take your time to set up, and we can pull both upper and lower up. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switch inside, take your time. Sit up tall, pull both upper and lower arm at the same time. Even if you can just pull it up a couple of inches, try your best. Three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to get ready to stand up. So keep your equipment close by. Take water if you need. Now we're going to do some cat and cow first. Have a thin cushion here. Spread out your fingers. Align the wrist with the shoulder. Ankles and hips align. I'm not sticking my butt out. Only the spine moving. Arms and legs are stationary. Inhale, drop the belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round the back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight. Looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between word breaks. Can and cow also help people to relieve back pain. So we're gonna do two more. Inhale one way to cow. Exhale, round the back to cat. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, release tension in your back, your hands and your legs. Now we're taking the inhales and exhale a little to the right hip. Let the hip drop, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Slowly, slowly, come up to center. Swing side to side. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. We're going to come to arm balance. Right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky, back toes down. Squeeze your arms in tight. Neck and spine in one straight line. We're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly, release. Swing side to side. We're going to repeat on the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. 
that's down to the sky, back toes down. So we're at point, and this is flex. Toes are pointing down, abs are firm. Neck and spine now line in one straight line. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to rise up, to stand. Hamstring stretch. So for the student who can put the legs up on the chair, go ahead. I'm going to demonstrate the modification. So I'm going to place the front leg on the ground, point the toes up to the ceiling, back legs bent, hand resting on the thigh, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, not rounding the back or dropping the head. Just remember, good posture always. Neck is straight, <laughs> spine is straight. Now you're going to feel the stretch here, hamstring. Do not put the entire body weight on this. You're going to injure yourself. We're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly rise up to standing. So those who wish to leave the leg on the ground, so this you switch to the other side. And I'm just going to do the one on the chair. So your choice, two options for you to choose. Point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. When you're ready, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale, we hinge forward, grow longer. Body is actually directly on top of the leg. I'm not rounding or dropping the head. Always remember, chin up, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slightly bend the knee if needed, if you have tight hamstring. Working the, end, the standing leg as well. So we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, take your time to rise up to standing. Release, alternating, bending your knees, release tension. Quarter step stretch. Inside leg is the standing leg, so we shift the weight to the standing leg. Grab a hold of the other foot or ankles. Now, don't open up the knees, knees together. Looking forward. You can either look down at the floor or at the horizon. Looking at something that doesn't move, that's your cocoa point. For those advanced students, if you want to challenge yourself, look up at the sky. So feel free to hold on for support. If you want to turn into balancing, dancer. Strengthening the quarters up. Work in the standing leg and ankle. Abs are firm. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. Okay, shift the weight to the other leg. Grab all the other foot or ankles, knees together, take the foot into your hand, firm up your abdominal muscles. Okay. Hold on for support. You can keep it your balancing. Eyes looking at the floor or at the horizon. Something that doesn't move. Advanced student, if you want to look up at the sky, go ahead. Strengthening the quarter side, working the standing leg and ankle. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. Now, firm up your butt. So you can do this without the resistant band or with the band, your choice. So work the band. Place one foot in your band. Adjust the length. Shift the weight to the standing leg. So we're gonna bring the other leg up. So you can do this without the band as well. Squeeze your butt in tight. Firm up to the butt. Once again, square the hip to the front. Abs are firm. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, release, switch inside. Shift the weight to the standing leg. When you're ready, bring up the other leg. And those who are working with the band, you're gonna feel the resistance here because you can't go any higher. Squeeze your body tight, working this big muscle here. 
Holding on to the chair for support. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, release. Very good. So we're done with the chair. So we can move the chair aside. Keep all your equipment with you. So place both feet into your chair, make it even length on both sides. And we're gonna come to the chair. So give your side view. I'm not sticking my butt out. I'm not pushing my knees beyond our toes and I'm not squeezing my thighs together. So nice and even. So we're gonna get used to this motion first. You don't have to go very far down. Arms to height, slightly tuck the tables in, and when you're ready, add the arms, pull it up, shoulder height, single, single first. Engage your core abdominal muscles, so in another words, squeeze is coming in, but not to the point of cramping. So we're both working both arms and legs, and our powerhouse, which means our core muscles. Don't forget to breathe. In and out through your nose. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Now heart rate may be going up a little bit. If you find that your heart rate is too high up, can breathe. Hyperventilating, you need to slow down. Let's try some doubles. Nice and slow. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release one arm. Doesn't matter which leg you start out with. Leg side both apart. The shorter side on your waist. The other side, pull it up. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the other side. Now the side with the bend is the shorter side. So place your hand on your waist for support. The other hand pull it up. Now if you can only do halfway, that's okay. But make sure the bend has resistance. Only going up to the shoulder height. Let's do another four, 
three, two, and one. Very good. Crisscross, even length. Soft knees, the walking knees. We're going to do single, single first. Going up to the shoulder height. Once again, soft knees, unlock the knees. Looking forward. Let's do some doubles. Let's do another three, two, one. Place the back leg into your band, so that's the shorter length. The other hand, thumb facing up. So we will come to a warrior stand. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, back foot is 45. So make sure the front knee doesn't wobble in or out. Good solid bottom foundation. And when you're ready, you can begin. So adjust the length so that there's not so much slack. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good, switching side. Coming back to our wall waist then, front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, back foot at 45. Good solid bottom foundation, square the hip to the front. When you're ready, thumb facing up, tuck the elbow, close your body. Adjust the tension if you find that it's too much slack. Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. There we go. Slowly, slowly release. Stepping the back leg to join your front leg. And now we're going to come, lie down on the mat. Keep all your equipment with you. We're going to loop the band on our thigh, coming onto the side of your body. Take your time to come lie down. One hand can be on in front of you. Some people, they like to pop a pillow. If this is better, more comfortable, you can pop a little pillow here. So we're gonna go and bend both knees, glue the feet together, going into open shut. Feel the resistance. Mm -hmm. 
Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. Move the band further down to your cap. Flex your feet. Small little open shot. Pausing it here. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Switching side. So take your time to rise up, and we're going to roll to the other side. And we're just going to keep the bend on the calf because it's already there. Straighten out the legs, flex the feet, and small little open shut. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Clamshell and both knees. Move the blend up to your thighs. Heel the feet together. Open, close. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Roll down on your back. Keep your bend on your thighs. Getting ready for the bridge pose. So walk you can pose your fingertips and by your side, palm facing down, chin to chest. When you're ready, inhale to lift the hip high, high up. Exhale again. Continue. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quadriceps and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back issues. When you come up, all the weights in the shoulder, wherever the weights in the head and neck. Chin is to chest, stimulating thyroid gland as well. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Stay up here for a moment. Press firmly on the mat. Now chin is almost stuck in the chest. Continue to squeeze your abs in tight. Your thighs and your butt should be firm. And we're going to stay up here for four, three, two, one. Slowly come down, one vertebrae at a time. Once you've come all the way down, and we're just going to wedge your right foot, dropping your knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Now we're going to drop both knees to the right side, coming into a spinal twist. Left arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn over to the left side, your leg is good. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, center, exhale, drop both knee to the other side. So let it fall wherever it fall. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Only the hips comes up. Make sure your shoulder, shoulder blade and upper back are still on the mat. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Remove the bed. Now we get ready to come up. So drop both knees to the right side, raise your right arm, go over to the right side. 
making a pillow of the right tricep. And when you're ready, use your upper hand to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through the workout. Always my pleasure.